my dear colleague Rehab Aim and Tim also joining. Thank Sorry. you so much, Don't Christine. Worry. A very warm welcome from our side and thank you to all of you investing your time with us, be it here on site or also virtually. My name is Ria. I'm Tim. And together we would like to introduce you to the industry's most open digital platform for buildings and also highlight the value that it creates for you and also for your digital enterprise. Your digital enterprise to achieve the requirements and also uh, the targets of your sustainability, your productivity, you need to consider more than just your production line. You have other criteria, of course, in addition to your efficient running production line that, for example, uh, requires to have a look at the productivity of your employee, your workers, which um, can drop by up to 50%, if not making sure that we have the optimal, the safe, and also secure environment for them. You need as well to have a look at your sustainability and energy efficiency. And of course, here as well, looking beyond your production line, having a look at your infrastructure, considering your buildings and also your built-in environments. And of course, all this is having an impact on your um, business continuity. Here, your production line downtime are part of it, but also, uh, as an example, your worker safety. If you have an incident, this will impact, in a way or the other, your business continuity. And what you require for this is already at your reach. It's your infrastructure. It's the data available at your infrastructure. So it's all at your reach. Now, to tackle all of these different challenges that you might have with your building, we have a broad portfolio for your smart infrastructure. And this could include any kind of smart building solution, smart grid solution, smart power distribution, or even e-mobility solutions. So you name it, there are many examples for this. If we provide a solution, we always make sure that we successfully combine the digital to the physical world. If we look at the systems that you might have already, we're going to notice that you have a, lot of, a, lot, a large amount of data stored in these systems. And for that reason, this data has a huge potential just, that just waits to be unlocked, right? So what we have to do is we have to turn that data into actual business value. And to do that, we need a way to integrate all kinds of different data from different sensors, from different systems, we have to bring it into one platform, we have to streamline that data and then put it into one single source of truth, into one data source. And on that data source, we can add a suite of services and apps to make sure that we can turn your data into business value. And for all of this, we have a digital building platform that we call Building X. Let's have a look. I'm here for you whenever you need me. I create perfect conditions for you. I'm passionate about performance, user experience, and a sustainable future. I am a single source of truth that unites the physical and digital worlds. I am accessible anytime anywhere. I'm more than a smart building suite. I am a vision come true. I am Building X. Building X, the very first offering to be part of our Siemens Accelerator digital platform, which is built 100% on its principle. It is an open, a scalable, and as a service offering, it is built uh, or offering AI applications um, that are, um, let's say, cyber secure and provide a, user, a seamless user experience. Now, I would like to introduce you step by step into how can you tap in the world of Building X, what can you find? So first of all, Building X is a platform and it's unified all the disciplines within your building with one login. 
So you can access all applications for all building management or operations with one login, which facilitate the user management within your company. It gives you a unified interface, which seems like, yeah, it's easy to do. But that's exactly what is required if you are working into multi-disciplines. You require one simple use and a seamless user experience that start maybe early before you start building X until joining it and also accessing the applications. Now, once you got into Building X, you have all those applications. It's a set of applications for all your building operations, starting by introducing Energy Manager. The Energy Manager access all the data, all the data, all the devices in your building that gives you insights about the energy consumption within your building or built environment. And you have there set of dashboards that would give you an overview on your sustainability KPIs. As an example, just the consumption of your energy within your site. We have the operations manager. Whenever you have a building or a, or a site uh, in your building in the operations manager, you have the possibility to have the latest update on the status of your building fleet, no matter where they are. If there is, for example, an issue in one of the sites, you can react quickly and send, um, let's say, someone to fix an issue somewhere. Now, the 360-degree viewer is what I would describe as the Google Earth for indoors. This is going to provide you a data-driven model, a photorealistic model of your building, where you can add, for example, any kind of point of interest to add additional data to that model. And you can use it to, for example, virtually inspect or virtually plan your building before you make changes to it in the real world. Then we have the security manager. That is an application that you use to enhance overall security levels in your building. For example, by connecting access control or video surveillance systems to it. The security manager is going to process your data. It's going to make it tangible and usable for your operator. And it will support your operator in making better decisions, which makes your building more secure and your processes, your workflows more efficient. And the backbone of all of this, of the whole building, building X, is the API portfolio. Because it enables all stakeholders of that ecosystem around Building X to build their own applications, their own services, based on all the data that Building X is gathering already today. And that's how we can build use cases in the future that we might not even think of today. So it's the combination between ready-to-use applications a built-in artificial intelligence and the open interfaces for those applications that gives you or make the value creation even possible. And we see this in the next example, which is an example from our own Siemens real estate company. Yes, we are using Building X already in many of our own buildings. And uh, they are using here Security Manager. And with the help of the analytic and the overview security manager is offering, SRE had the possibility to reduce about 40% of the food waste in their sites. Now you might be questioning yourself, OK, how does access control relate or translate with food waste? So let me explain it in the next slide. Every company, every site has a kind of an access management uh, tool. And with that, you have the data of how many be, um, people are getting into your uh, site, your building, your, um, let's say, production site. So you have an overview of your occupancy. And now Building X access the data and prepare it already in a very simple way so that even a, um, a canteen manager has the overview of how many people are today in a factory and thus he knows how much food he needs to, produ to produce. So there is no need, actually, to prepare more than people in the building. Now, with the help of the analytics provided in Building X, we can get into a step further and predict over a certain time uh, also how many food we need really to prepare for kind of a, a peak time and so on. So with the help of analytics, we can predict maybe in a month from now how much food we can or we should, um, let's say, grocery shop for our factory at a day. How does this look like? I have a short video for you. 
So here we have an overview on the security manager in Building X. And I hope the video is running. I'm not sure if I should click. Thank you. Now it is. So in a security manager, I have the occupancy part. And I see that it's 1,000 occupants over all my sites. And I can select Kaiserslautern. I think that's the site that I uh, recorded the video with. And I see how much uh, attendance or occupancy I have in Kaiserslautern. And in the bel uh, below part, I see like a time frame of two weeks. And I do see that there is a tendency of uh, people coming back to the office in the last two weeks. Now, to be more secure, I, was, I will select a time of about six weeks just to have a look if that tendency is really correct. And I do see as well there is really a tendency in the last couple of days of team members and workers coming back to the office. So that's how the analytics in Building X provide you with all those insights, no programming needed, no parameter needed, it's already built in. So Riab just showed you one example of how we can leverage on occupancy data. But I want to show you one more use case about how Building X can also enhance overall worker safety in your factory, in your facility. Because if we look into the numbers, we're going to see that we had eight occupational accidents that workers were involved in just in Germany and just since the beginning of this presentation, on average. So we see there are a lot of threats, a lot of dangers in the workplace for your workers. And for that reason, many companies have regulations in place that require their workers to wear personal protective equipment, PPE, to be safe as long as they are at the job site. So, what I'm going to show you now is how Building X can enhance this worker safety. And if we talk to customers, most of our customers have some kind of video surveillance in place anyway today already. And they use it as the virtual eye for the security guard, so only for security purposes. But even a video data stream has a lot more perspective, uh, not a lot more potential in it from a data perspective. Because with artificial intelligence, we can train a camera to detect basically everything within a video stream, just like a human would learn it. And we have a solution in place that is able to recognize if workers are wearing a vest and a helmet as part of their personal protective equipment properly. And if they don't, we can, for example, trigger a siren to remind them to do so. And because we connected both the cameras and also the siren to Building X, we can even go into long-term analysis and do benchmarking. So this use case looks good on slides, but I want to prove my point here, which is why I want to take you, Christina, <laughs> to come with me to our dialogue station and be my factory worker for the next two or three minutes. I'm in. Okay. I'm in. Hardcore job good. already since Monday, so I'm going to fulfill <laughs> that as well. <laughs> so what, what's going to happen now? So what's going to happen is, let's go over here to our dialogue station. And this is the video stream that we're talking about. We have this green area, which is the detection area for the PPE analysis. And now that you step in the video stream, we can see already the alarm is triggered and we see the confidence of the artificial intelligence That's a that lot you're of not beeps. wearing PPE. <laughs> it is, it is. Now, let's try what it looks like if you're safe. So put on your PPE now, the helmet and the vest. And let's try okay. if you pass the AI test then. Is there a timer addicted to that? There is a cooldown timer uh, because we didn't want to go, uh, go off the siren all day. <laughs> all right. So am I prepared? You are right. prepared, go in front okay. of it. And we see the analysis, everything is starting to turn green with a certain confidence. And we see you're safe, you're good to go into the factory area, so you're set. Perfect. All right, ready to go. Thanks, Tim. I want to show you one more thing that I just mentioned, because we said we can even go into long-term data analysis. And that is something we can do here. So, for example, as a chief of staff, I can log in here and see what my overall PPE compliance is like in different locations. So I can do benchmarking. And if I have a bad PPE compliance, I could offer, for example, additional training to make sure that my workers are safe in that location. And this is just one example of what we could be doing. There's all different kinds of video analytics that we can do. For example, 
if someone gets too close to a machine, we can sh detect that and shut down the machine immediately just to keep the workers safe. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I need a micro, please. <laughs> Let's Thank go you so back much, to Tim. This was a real live demo. It's not recorded. And uh, yeah, these were just a sneak view, a sneak peek into some of the possibilities of building X using the security managers. And with Building X, you still have a lot of use cases that you could discover with the different applications we have there, with the uh, enabled integrated AI and also the integrated artificial intelligence. Yeah, and if you're curious now, if we can do something with your data, if we can build a use case for you, I want to invite you to come over to my colleagues and me at the Dialog Station to have a deeper look into your use cases and see if we can make that use case happen based on Building X. And I would like to invite you, in general, to join our Siemens Accelerator ecosystem, be part of it, and be part of Building X. And you have the possibility as well to develop with us the platform further. You have the possibility to integrate your own applications or the applications of your customers and be part of the most or the industry's most open digital platforms. Thank you so much. And uh, we together wish you a very nice time at the fair.